Welcome back. We're at the Bebout Veterinary Medical Center, and I'm with Dr. Brandon Bebout and Phil. And if you have a cat that is up there in ages, there's a lot of things that we need to be looking for. What are some of the main things that we need to be looking for, especially in like diseases? So um, as we kind of get to that threshold of, of what defines an older cat, and I think 10 is a good um, kind of number. We can see obviously issues younger than that, but 10 is a, is a good number. Um, we see a lot of kids um, 17, 18 year olds, and so uh, kind of 10 to the teenage years, we're going to start looking for changes in our kitty. And they can be subtle initially, they can be very obvious to the veterinarian and, and staff and friends that come over because um, weight changes can happen gradually. And if you're around all the time, uh, you know, you take a trip. Uh, go a weekend to Vegas, you come back and say, man, the cat's lost half its weight in a weekend. Um, it's actually probably happened over the course of a couple of months. And so uh, weight, weight loss is, is something that we see for a lot of num uh, a number of reasons. Uh, water intake changes. And a lot of people say, well, man, I don't measure. I, don't, I, you know, I just fill up the bowl and then it sits there. But if we're drinking too much, we're probably peeing too much. And it's actually the peeing too much initially the the increased urination causes the increased thirst and so you're actually gonna be looking at your litter box and you say I think it's more voluminous in there um, now there's a lake um, rather than a pond um, or even just this little bit and it just starts to grow um, vomiting is a big one everybody says uh, are my cats vomit you buy a new rug cat will vomit uh, you know and so cats do vomit occasionally especially long-haired cats hairballs those type of things but as the frequency starts to increase and chronicity it's gone on for a number of weeks to months um, might tell us a little bit of something um, and then beyond that uh, appetite either increases or decreases and I'd like to just touch if I may on a, on a couple diseases uh, there's really four big ones in kitties that we see you know they're going to encompass um, beyond beyond cancer um, you know 85 percent of the cases that we're going to see inflammatory bowel disease and that can be vomiting diarrhea um, decreased appetite weight loss or one of those. It can be very, very, very mild. Um, there's a huge spectrum or it can be very, very glaringly obvious. Uh, that one's a little bit harder to uh, predict just right off a physical exam um, and there's no water intake changes okay. typically. Then the three that have increased drinking diabetes, hyperthyroidism, and chronic kidney disease. Very common in cats. Um, we diagnose one of those all of those diseases every single week in cats. Okay. And so the increased appetite is diabetes and thyroid kitties. Okay, so they're both drinking a lot, they're both eating a lot, and they're both losing precipitous amounts of weight. The difference is hyperthyroid kitties are vomiting more often, and diabetics feel really, really good. So, um, so that can be, again, blood is gonna tell you everything between those two diseases anyway. Uh, kidney disease is a little bit different, drinking a lot, not necessarily eating as much, Guys with kidney disease, we're getting rid of toxins. They're not doing as well at that. Um, that appetite might be down a little bit, but yet we're losing weight because of that appetite, because of the metabolic acidosis that we see in kidney disease, um, which kind of melts muscle um, and those kind of things. And then we will see intermittent vomiting with those. And so, um, yeah, that's right, buddy. Um, and so um, those are the top four diseases that we see in our geriatric cats. Most of the time, those those three outside of inflammatory bowel disease, and sometimes severe IBD can be found on blood work, but blood work in urine is really gonna tell us a complete picture. Um, and so it's fairly simple, we do that in-house. Uh, and then diabetes, very easy to treat. Um, and we'll touch on that um, you know, on a different episode. Hyperthyroidism, very easy to treat. Chronic kidney disease, cats do incredibly well with kidneys comparatively to humans and dogs. And so a lot of these things, you catch them early, we're talking survival time is five, six, seven years, um, you know, and it's not a death sentence for these guys. Oh, I think the cat's, you know, lost half its body weight. Um, I think we're done here. No, there's a lot of things that we can do, uh, and we can give these guys a great quality of life for a really long time. So you just kind of need to pay attention to that litter box. Pa paying attention to the litter box, um, watching for that. Where If you feel like something's off, there could be something off, and then we get them in, and again, we're going we're gonna to find it. So it's only going to take a quick phone call to the Bebout yep. Veterinary Medical Center to kind of get that discovered. Thank you very yep. much. Great information. Of course. I learn a lot. Stay with us. We're coming back with more right after this.